All right, so the mini ramp is finally done. Finally got a half pipe built in my garage, which has been a dream for so long. And now I'm ready to show you the finished result. Let's open up the garage and check it out. Well, the ramp made it here. It was kind of a crazy delivery. Here it is. Got the two by fours over there. Plywood, all painted. Those are the frames for the mini ramp. So yeah, we're uh, ready to basically start putting it together. All right, so things are going together pretty smooth. So this right here, I've just got laid on its, you know, like vertical. Um, it's gonna come down and it's gonna go on the ground like this. So basically these two planks here, this one and that one, are gonna be the floor, the platform of the mini ramp. Given I've never ever put one of these together before, I think that I'm making pretty good progress. I've probably been out here for about 40 minutes maybe. Um, a lot of that time was spent just reading the directions. So what I decided to do was just start screwing in the screws and get them all started because there's a ton of screws on here. And that way once they're all started, I could just go through and just pop them all into each two by four. So yeah, it is gonna have to be leveled, but next I'm working on getting the two by fours into the transition pieces. And then I'll get that in place. From that point, I'll start to level everything off and start to get the decking on it. This stuff right here. I've always dreamed of having a mini ramp since I was a little kid. So it's pretty awesome to finally get one to skateboard on and just um, learn new tricks and just get better at it. Instead of having to run to the skate park all the time, I'll be able to just come out here in my garage when I'm taking a lunch break or whatever from work and just come out here and skate. It's gonna be awesome. Whew, well, this is where I'm at with things. I'm working on the first quarter pipe transition, um, framing it out. We've got the coping on it. So basically there's gonna be one on this side, one on this side, and then the same thing on the other side of the garage. So this is basically two six foot sections on each side, making it a total of 12 feet. One hour later. All right, uh, took a little longer than I thought it would. This part is probably the trickiest part, just lining everything up. So I'm trying to make sure it's like perfectly level. Now I'm gonna do a little height test before I move it in place. I was trying to decide what height to go with. I ended up going with two and a half foot high. I wanted to go three and a half foot high because that was the preferred height I wanted, but I figured my head would be touching the ceiling so it wouldn't be a good height. So then I decided on three feet, but the three feet ramp would have gone too far out in the garage. Like it would literally have been touching my garage doors. So I don't think that would have worked. So I ended up having to go with the two and a half foot so that the length was still, you know, short enough to actually fit in the garage. So yeah, I just tested it out. Super happy with the height of it. I feel like this is a good height. It's a good space for the, the garage here and overall I think I made the right decision by picking the size that I did. Well now it's just a matter of getting it in place into the corner over there. All right guys so this is technically day three. Um, yesterday I didn't spend much time on it. I had one more quarter to put together like one half of the quarter to put together and then I basically just set everything down. So it's really coming together. You can see everything is just laid out. I'd say all in all, I probably got about seven hours in on this. So the next order of business in order to get this thing ready to skate is I'm leveling it out. So my garage floor obviously is pitched because there's a drain right there. So I'm putting bricks on the part where it's pitched and then I'm probably gonna put some shims on that end too just to keep it off the concrete a little bit. And that'll allow water to still get underneath there to that drain, um, which will be good. And then also it's just It'll level it out so it doesn't feel weird skating. So yeah, um, this could be a tedious process, I figure, because this I really want to get this part right, and then I just need to screw the pieces together, and then it's time to start putting on the sheets of plywood. So yeah, really coming together. I'm I'm getting excited to actually be able to skate it. So it's gonna be awesome when it's all done. Well, leveling is now officially complete, and just like I thought it would be, this was by far probably the most tedious part because every time you'd level one side, then you'd have to go back and check the other side, and the ramps are heavy, so you're having to constantly kind of redo things, but I think we got it pretty good. Um, pretty satisfied with how level it is, and now I need to just connect everything together. Probably all full of wood shavings here, but it's all screwed together. As I was screwing it together, I made some more fine tuning to the leveling, 
Um, I tell you what, just every time I thought I was done leveling it, I found another spot that could be leveled just a little bit more, and I really wanted it to be as close as possible. So I really think this turned into probably being the longest part of the project. And I know what you guys are probably thinking. You're probably thinking, just wait until you start screwing on the, the deck because it's like thousands of screws. But um, I'm, I'm really glad that the leveling is done of it because that was tedious. I used these pavers to level it, and then I made micro adjustments with different size sheets of plywood. So I think the first order of business is I'm gonna get these deck boards on, on the top, just because that'll clear up some space of the plywood over there so that I can have more room to work here in the garage. It's been getting a little bit cramped. I've got a lot of stuff in the driveway now and I'm, I'll be glad to just have this finished and wrapped up so that we can get the garage back in order too. All right, one whole layer of plywood officially done. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Still a lot of work though. Shout out Keen Wraps. They did a really awesome job of putting these little blue dots everywhere of where your screw is supposed to go. So then you're not like guessing at like where the two by four is underneath, which makes it a lot faster. So I've got one more layer of this to put on and then I put on the painted layer after that. So we're almost there. <laughs> we're like 75% finished. It may look like it's done, but it's not. <laughs> Lining up these Final layer of plywood pieces, the painted ones, were uh, very, very challenging to get everything lined up so that the coping was pretty flush. I got it the best I could. Could be maybe a little bit better, but um, yeah, I think, I think it's gonna do. All right, so there it is. You can see I've got a, jammed in with my boat and other stuff. But yeah, shout out Keen Ramps who made the process incredibly easy compared to how it could have been. I've been having an absolute blast on it. I tell you, if I would have tried to build this without buying it like pre-already pre drilled and everything from Keen Ramps, it would have made this process so much harder. So um, I really appreciate that Keen Ramps like had everything marked and, and put together the way it should be. It really made it easy. I'm really, Really happy with the size I went with because it fits perfect when I stand on top. I've got plenty of room, um, so that's great as well, like plenty of headroom. And uh, just it just is a good size for me to learn new tricks that I can then go and take to the skate park if I want to on some of the bigger ramps. It's just a perfect size. So the dimensions of this wrap are two and a half tall, two and a half feet tall, 12 foot wide, and then it's about 18 feet lengthwise, which was really about the maximum I could have gone because otherwise it's kind of hitting the garage door. Uh, luckily I have extra deep garage, so it, it really fits the space perfectly. It allows me to still have room for my boat and my sports car. The other two cars I have to park outside, but not that big of a deal. Um, in the winter, maybe I'll store the, the boat and the sports car somewhere else when it snows and then I'll be able to park the other two cars in. So it should work out pretty well. Now you'll notice I'm working on sort of a uh, second component to it is this railing that I put up and you may wonder why I went so high with it. Well, the reason I'm actually even building this railing in the first place onto it, and I've still got a little more work to do on it. The reason I'm building it in the first place is because now that the ramp is here, there's nowhere for our kayaks to go. They used to go on the wall right there. So I'm gonna mount the kayaks on this railing, hopefully is the plan. We'll see how it works out. And then I should hopefully have room for everything. But anyway, for those of you guys who just are kind of following along to keep up with what I'm up to, that's what I've been up to and maybe someone new is here who's thinking about building a mini ramp in their garage. Uh, it's a pretty awesome experience. It took me three total days to build it. Uh, two of those days I didn't spend a lot of time, maybe just a couple hours, just kind of um, putting together the quarter pipes. And then the last day where I really assembled everything took me probably about five or six hours, but I did it entirely myself. I didn't have any help, I just did it all myself. So I think if you had help, it would go a lot quicker. And I highly recommend Keen Ramps if you're thinking about building out you know, one of these in your garage or in your house or in your backyard. But yeah, this is perfect because now I'm gonna be able to skate when it's raining out, when it starts to get colder out. Like it just, it's awesome to just be able to come out whenever I want and skate. You can't not like skate every day when you have a mini ramp in your garage. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. If you wouldn't mind, smash a like on the video for me. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe, turn notifications on because I've got some more cool videos coming soon. Anyways, I'll see you next time. I am Paul James. Peace out.